Uh, I'm going to tell you a few things about myself, because a lot of you probably don't know me. I'm not a New Yorker. My home's in Peoria, Illinois. And, uh... I'm from an average type family. Eleven kids. No mother and father, just kids. When I was young, I used to think my people didn't like me, because they used to send me to the store for bread, then they'd move. I noticed when I was young, like, my people, if they didn't want to holler at you, they'd make a funny move with their body. You ever had your parents do this? If you're doing something wrong, they'd look at you and go... <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I had a wild neighborhood, I gotta tell you, because uh, my mother's Puerto Rican, and my father's Negro, and we lived in a real big Jewish tenement building. <laughs> in an Italian neighborhood. Every time I go outside, the kids say, Get him! He's all of them! <laughs> I like New York. I live here. I'm a bachelor. I got my apartment. I find bachelors have a lot of hang-ups, like preparing your own food. You ever fix coffee? You get the coffee can down off the cabinet, right? Take the key off the top of the can. You put on that little doohickey. You know what you bleed from, right? <laughs> Turn it halfway around the can. It breaks off, right? You got to get a spoon. You dig in there with a spoon, raise up just enough, stick your hand in there, cut your fingers, right? <laughs> and guys only know one way to open a can of evaporated milk. Sit the milk on the table, put a butcher knife on top of the can, slam down the can, go sailing through the kitchen. <laughs> on the table, put a butcher knife on top, slam down, the can rolls over, a knife sticks in the table and you hurt your hand. <laughs> then you get real mad. You grab that can, hold it tightly between your knees, put the butcher knife on top of the can, slam down as hard as you can, and you stand there and cry. <laughs> I, I, I like New York City. I've been working in the village in coffee houses. And I like it because they don't serve any booze, just coffee, ice cream, weird pills. And, <laughs> and I get a kick out of the tourists ride the buses. You ever see them? They ride, look at the beatniks. Oh, look at them up there. How much of them? No beatniks in the village. All the weirdos riding buses. Look at the beatniks. I got some more to tell you. New York City, I found out you can't get a cab in New York City, right? Especially when it rains. All the cabs are owned by one company, off-duty. Right? Huh? If you're lucky enough to get a cab, you get in and say, Driver, I want to go to 78th Street. The driver says, I'm not going that way. I want to go to 78th Street. You're going to give me a tip, I'm going to tip your cab over. You don't take me to 78th Street. And I hate to take the subway because the first thing you see when you walk down the subway, some guy down there, give me a nickel. Nothing works in the subway, right? Candy machine doesn't work, Coke machine doesn't work. Not the subway's fault, but it don't work. You ever drop a dime in the Coke machine, your Coke come pouring out, no cup? <laughs> Wait, I got more to tell you. You gotta watch when you ride the subway, because once I was riding the subway, I caught a guy with his hand in my pocket. I said, man, what you doing with your hand in my pocket? Looking for change. <laughs> the pickpockets, they slick. See, they bump into you, say, excuse me. Take everything but your pants. Put a little elbow on the teeth. Pow! Like that. I was on the train riding. Somebody bumped into me, said, excuse me. I said, pow! Turned around, woman 80 years old. <laughs> wow, man, right? And no matter how packed it is on the train, when a drunk gets on, he gets a seat. Right? He gets on, me and I go, people move, he lays down, goes to sleep. They got the weirdest advertising on the trains. They got things like, if you want to know how to speed write, read the sentence below. And they have a sentence all chopped up in speed writing. It reads like, splick, flick, 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 Underneath that, they say, if you can read that without difficulty, you have a speech defect. <laughs> I watch a lot of advertising. Oh. Got a little more. I watch a lot of advertising on television commercials. Really funny, like the woman, Honey, I got a giant in my washer. Yeah, well, they better be gone by the time I get home. <laughs> you ever see that unrehearsed laundry test they do, right? Miss Jones didn't know we had our cameras hidden when she brought in her husband's dirty laundry. Miss Jones, what do you think of our wash day detergent? I like it, I love it. I use it all the time. I brush my teeth with it, I wash my hair with it. Send a check. <laughs> my 
favorite commercial, I got to tell you, my favorite is the kid in bed and they get real dramatic, right? And they play it up real big. The kid's laying in bed. 9.15. Tommy Jones can't sleep. And they cut to Tommy Jones. <laughs> Tommy! I can't breathe! His mom comes rushing in. Good, it's working! 